as you can tell from the title, we spent $2 at the Goodwill bins for proof. Let's see here. Outlet. $2. $2. That's all I spent. $2. The, actually, my total was less than that, but I rounded up 40 cents. 41 cents. So, and with that, I got this whole bag of clothing. So, I'm going to play some footage and then we'll see what we bought. Okay, so we're at the bins today, the Goodwill bins, and we're looking for things to flip. Uh, looks like we have found some pens and pencils and a knife. I actually did look up comps on this knife. Uh, if you had a set, you could probably get around $15 for them. These shoes aren't in too bad of shape. But I really don't have tons of storage for shoes, so I left them. If you see anything that you would have purchased to flip on eBay or any other reselling site, go ahead and list it down in the comments. More shoes. I like to look at the shoes. Uh, these are probably from the 80s. purses. Every once in a while I will find a decent quality purse. This is not one of them. He was pretty cool. I couldn't identify the maker. Pretty cool Spider-Man car there. Tons of McDonald's toys. Unbranded shoes. Purse from the 80s. <laughs> some things you just really don't know about. There's some Ann Taylor shoes. One time I found this, uh, a rabbit scarf, brand new with tags. But I left it there because you cannot sell animal fur on eBay. So a nice piece of flatware.
probably stainless. Stainless steel. Oh, hi Ken. There's a little Snoopy figu figurine. It's always fun to, to go through everything. There's tons of those tumblers at the bins. And it's just like, those are meant to keep, not to throw away. Danskin leggings. Some of the leggings, the, the cheaper leggings brands, actually feel kind of high quality. So, But you always have to check those out. You might have a Lululemon or something. Uh, bamboo handled purses actually do bring decent money. Um, I didn't pick this one up though because the print on it was just kind of uh, not so great. Most of the time I'm just like randomly browsing these things and don't actually pick up anything. They are very addicting to go through though. Um, it's a cute little red crossbody clutch girlfriend. I've never heard of that brand before. You know, I see a lot of this, is it Misha brand? Um, I'm not familiar with that either. And let's see here, here's another bag. Mm, must not have been any good. Um, Nine West, trash. Ooh, an old alarm clock. I remember my grandparents had something like that. I don't know why I'm looking at this tie. Uh, right, on to the next one. Barney. Barney. I watched a lot of Barney growing up. I'm not even sure that's something kids watch anymore. Um, somebody donated their own blinds. It would be interesting to know if somebody did buy those, if you could actually get them untangled. On to the next bin. Oh. McDonald's toys, little plushies. This little moose, he was actually made in Canada. He's kind of cute. <laughs> um, napkin rings. Ah, goodness. League of Legends hat. My sister needs that for her uh, middle, medieval fair she's going to. Pots and pans. Not really into it. As you can tell, my cart is full of clothes. We'll go over those in a little bit. Oh, I did find this. I thought that this was really cool. Tigger, is that you? So it's like Pooh Bear looking at a tiger it's a, a christmas ornament and i didn't pick it up but you know it was literally one of the coolest finds of the day 
Okay, so the first brand that we picked up today was a brand by Montio. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's in a size small, and this is a very, very cute romper. Long, long pant romper. So it has a tie or a little belt that does go around the waist and um, up here at the top which I think is kind of a nice feature like if you're feeling a little bit more modest you can just snap there's a snap that they've added so that it's not as low cut or you can just unsnap it and there you go and the back to get into it zips up so that's nice um, the pant legs are kind of they appear to be just kind of like a wide leg wide straight leg but then like at the end they're opened up on both Actually, it's just one side. On the outside of the pant leg, it, it opens up and flares out. So that's also very fun. I would love to keep this for myself, but I doubt that it fits. So we'll try it out. We'll try it out. So that's that was the last thing that I picked up today. Um, here is another piece. Um, so Perla in a size large. I thought this was a really cute top. It's a green button. It buttons all the way up and then has some nice like ruffle detail around it. I thought that was super cute. Like a nice little dress shirt. 100% polyester. This, I thought this top was really pretty. This is a top from Torrid and it is a size one. I'm not that familiar with their sizes. Um, I've never tried on any of their items, but I do think that this is pretty cute. There is like a one button here that buttons up rolled sleeves and then just a great little spring top i love it love it love the colors next shirt is a shirt by peter millar it's a men's long sleeved shirt it's kind of got like plums and blues and gold tones in it. It's probably more of a fall fall shirt, but it's a great time of the year to try this stuff on or to buy it because you can buy it for cheaper. So that is exactly four pieces now for $2 and we're still going. We still have a full bag. Here is a pair of what appears to be basically brand new Tommy Bahama swim trunks. Hawaiian print, size large I believe extra large extra large um yeah so these are pretty pretty nice I would say I try to pick up like almost new looking items because the newer they are the cleaner they are with the possibility of fewer stains so we're still going um, here is a 
Polo by Ralph Lauren, women's just basic boxy tee. This is an extra large. I thought this was very pretty in color. And it also appeared to have little to nowhere. So that would be item number six, I think. Six for $2, that's, that's pretty good. But we're still going, so. This next shirt, I don't know anything about this brand. Um, the, the material feels great. It's Tori Richard. It's a men's Hawaiian bamboo shirt. It feels really great. I don't think that the material is anything special. Oh, it's 70% silk and 30% lacel. I'm unfamiliar, but um, it's an XL, Tori Richards. And there's this tag on the inside that says, resort is a state of mind. So I think that this was a good pickup. I mean, it is summer, spring, summer, and it has a pocket. Oh, and a nice thing about these buttons is that the buttons are branded. Perfect. Next. Um, okay, so I have recently heard that anything that's made out of wool, you should definitely pick up. Now, I'm allergic to wool, but this sweater is made with 75% virgin lamb's wool and 25% nylon. It was made in the USA by Jeff Lord, and the brand is Jeff Lamb. And it's just this black cardigan. It it might be vintage. I really don't know. I have I didn't look it up. I just I just bought it. Um it, it seemed to be in really good shape even if it were vintage. It has that definite wool feeling to it. And it says it, that it's a size large. Um so yeah. Somebody buy that because I'm allergic to it. We're still going. $2. Now this has a little spot on it that I need to clean. It's a uh, Ralph Lauren women's size large, which everything that they make is not really like a large. So like I'm a large, but I would say this is a medium. And it's just this great floral print and right about here I think there's like some deodorant or something on it so I'm gonna have to like try to clean that but I thought that this print was gorgeous and definite pickup we're still going okay so don't judge me because I have zero musical taste. This is Jason Brown, who I have no idea who that is. And um, it's just printed on a Port & Company size large shirt. But I figured that somebody would definitely need this to go to their state fair. <laughs> Jason Brown. I don't even know who that is. This next object might be a keeper or give to a friend because I know a lot of people that like to cook and what better way to do it 
then in a Pizza Hut apron. <laughs> like, seriously? What? Like, how great is this? I love it. You could make your pizza pie, your your cinnamon rolls in this. This this fits me like perfectly. And then you keep your tips in your front pouch. Cause see it has that option down there. And I think this is like brand new. It's not brand new, obviously, because there's no tags proving that it's brand new, but like it's clean. There is no pizza grease on it. Um, here is the tag where it says that it's actually Pizza Hut apparel. Perfect. And the last item that I got, which were probably like up to 10 items or something already. Uh, the last item that I got was probably to give to my mom because she likes this stuff and this is a women's columbia jacket with the iowa state logo embroidered on the chest it doesn't have a hood it's like in prime condition it's not filled with cat hair or anything like that. It like, it's, it's golden. I didn't check the pockets. There could be like mystery $100 bills in there, but this is, this is a really nice jacket for literally 50 cents. So. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And I really don't think that it's been worn much either because here is the inside side tags. They're not squashed. They're not bent over. They're just in really good shape. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll keep you updated on what sold out of this pile excuse me i'll keep you updated no roll that back i won't keep you updated on what sold because it's gonna sell it's gonna sell and sorry about the pink eye like it's cat hair anyway thank you guys so much for joining me today um, I've had a lot of fun doing these YouTube videos. If you have enjoyed them, make sure that you hit the like button and the subscribe button just as a free way to support me. And I will see you guys later. Bye.